Hi everyone. Hola a todos. I'm going to do the intro in English in case we have um, some students from Brazil. But welcome everybody. Please, if you are able to see me and hear me clearly, please type it on the chat. Um, just a smiley face or just um, yes, I can hear you. Si te escuchamos. Whatever works best for you so I can know that everything is working well and we can start with the session. I see some of you typing. So perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Valeria. Okay, guys. So my name is Carla Plasencia. And on behalf of the, of the student world, I would like to welcome you to this amazing live session, Study in France, Discover Opportunities with Burgundy School of Business. Okay, so I'm just going to explain super fast to you how this platform works so we can get into the good things. So here's a chat. Here you can let us know where you're from, where um, where you're watching us from, what time is it in your in your city, anything that you would like. But if you have any questions, you will go to the second tab, which is the questions tab, and um, you will post it over here. I will keep track of the questions and we will have a Q&A session at the end. So now, with that being said, I would like to introduce you to our presenter for today. He is Patrick Harris. He is from BSV and he's going to share with you guys all the amazing opportunities that they have for Latin American students. Thank you, Patrick, so much for being here and the stage is all yours. Amazing. Uh, well, thank you, Carla, for the introduction. Um, thank you, everyone who's tuning in. Thanks a lot for, for being here. Um, it's a pleasure to, to give you an introduction to Burgundy School of Business uh, here in Dijon in France. Um, I'm going to show you a quick video just to help you kind of visualize the city. Um, and then I'm going to go through a, a PowerPoint presentation um, just to give you an introduction to, to the, the, the campus, the programs that we offer um, and to, to give you a bit of an insight into, um, into what life would be like as a student uh, here at BSB. Um, so hopefully you find it interesting. If you have any questions, we will um, come back at the end for a bit of a Q&A. Um, so feel free to fire questions throughout. Um, and, and thanks again, thanks again for, for being here and participating. Um, it, it's a pleasure to be in touch. Okay, Carla, um, if it's okay, we're going to start with um, uh, the video. Um, it's a short video. Okay, perfect. So that was a short video just to give you a bit of an introduction to Dijon. Dijon is um, the, the city here in France where uh, the main campus of, of uh, BSB, Burgundy School of Business, is located. So um, it was a short clip of, uh, of BSB students enjoying the, the city and, and everything it has to offer. Um, and I just wanted to start with that just to give you a bit of a visual um, so, you, so that you see the, the style of the city and, and the types of, of activities that you could get up to as a, as a potential future BSB um, student. So, yeah, um, okay, I'll start off with this, uh, with this presentation now. So the first slide here is um, the, the, 
the front of the campus. Um, we have a, a, a campus um, based in the city centre. As you can see, it's very modern and um, it's been newly renovated. So in terms of facilities, um, it's it's very cutting edge. Um, however, um, Burgundy School of Business is one of the oldest um, business schools here in France. So it carries with it that that prestige um, and, and, and that history. And that, that, that is part of, of what makes it um, really quite special. Um, okay, so why would you choose um, France as a destination to, to study? Um, well, of course, uh, the, the, the French are um, very well known uh, for their um, art de vivre, as they call it here. Um, it's the seventh largest economy in the world. So in terms of employability, um, after you graduate, there are lots and lots of opportunities here. It's, uh, it really is the, the, the heart, the beating heart of, of Europe. Um, and so and so yeah I mean in France in general there's there's a really great balance of of nature and um, but also future focused businesses it's not just the sort of chic and, and sophisticated side that that's well known and um, the French are, are also very well known for their creativity their their ideas and and um, indeed their their entrepreneurial spirit um, so, okay. Uh, okay, so in terms of location, I talked about Dijon and um, you can see the map here of, of France. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with France or, or have visited before, but essentially, as you can see from, from the map here, uh, our main campus in Dijon um, is located on the east coast of France. Um, so you're looking at, it's roughly halfway between uh, the capital city of Paris and the second largest city of Lyon. Um, so in terms of distance, you're looking at roughly one hour and 20 minutes to get to Paris by train um, and roughly the same to get to Lyon. Um, so those two sort of um, very important cosmopolitan hubs of France, very, very reachable. And um, if you want to go there for the weekend, if you want to soak up the culture and, and everything that, that big cities have to offer. Dijon itself, where the, the campus is, is a smaller city. Um, it's a medium sized city. Um, and it, it works to our advantage, really, um, in the sense that life is much cheaper um, the uh, the city is much more livable, if you will. Um, so there's no need for you to spend hours on um, uh, transport getting from A to B. Um, everyone, all students walk around or, or cycle. Um, the cost of living is, is, is much cheaper. The cost of housing is, is much cheaper. Um, but we still have access to those, those two major um, cosmopolitan hub cities in France. Um, so really the best of both worlds. We're located, Dijon is the capital of Burgundy. Now, Burgundy is very, very well known for um, for its wine. Uh, it's a world famous wine region, um, you know, not just in France, not just in Europe, but, but globally, and also for gastronomy. Um, so, so as a student here, you, you'll be able to, to really make the most of, um, of the, the beautiful outdoor green spaces that, that the region of Burgundy has to offer, the food, the, the wine, um, but also the, the cosmopolitan life, not far away, um, if that's what you crave. We, um, our main campus is in Dijon. We have a secondary campus in Lyon. Um, that's a relatively new campus, so um, a few of our courses are offered there. Most of the courses at BSB take place in Dijon, um, but anything that is uh, much more specialised, modern, faster paced, anything that's sort of tech or digital based is, uh, is located in Lyon. Lyon can kind of be seen as um, as the the Silicon Valley of France, right? So so lots of um, entrepreneurial and um, lots of startups, and um, so so that's why we decided to open a campus there as well for for those type of um, type of programs. Um, okay, give me two seconds. Yeah. So, um, okay, so here uh, we have some pictures of the, the beautiful vineyards surrounding um, Dijon that, that I talked about. Of course, the city itself is famous worldwide for mustard. Uh, Dijon mustard, um, I, I found out since I lived here, um, is uh, the, the recipe 
um, I believe, originated in Dijon, hence why uh, it carries the name. Um, these days, because it's become a very global commercial product, um, it's not all manufactured in Dijon, but the original recipe was 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 done here. But anyway, um, yeah, big focus on wine, big focus on food. And um, if you're uh, if, if you you appreciate um, gastronomy, wine, restaurants, and um, then then definitely um, Burgundy is is the place for you in terms of in terms of uh, you know exploring that side of things outside uh, outside your 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 courses. Here we have uh, some more photographs of Dijon. You can see students very much live their lives outdoors. Um, as I mentioned, um, they walk around everywhere or they cycle. There's no need to have a car in Dijon and the, the whole of the city centre is completely pedestrianised. Um, people very much live their lives outdoors. So coffees on terraces, glasses of wine on terraces. Um, we have a very distinctive architecture that you can see in one of the photos here. And lots of green parks and, and open spaces. So in terms of quality of life, um, it's a city where, where, where students um, really find that, um, that they're happy. Right, um, and that they're able to to enjoy life, enjoy the the pace of life, and and everything that the city has to offer. Something that um, you might not experience in in a bigger city where, you know, life can be overwhelming, life can be expensive. And um, so, really, we we have a, a very happy medium with with the main campus here in Dijon. And um, so. So yeah, um, in terms of um, in terms of the campus itself, I mentioned it's a, a city centre campus. So really, we're slap bang in the middle of Dijon. And um, for example, uh, it takes me six minutes to to walk into work in in the morning. I have a flat also in the city centre. A lot of the students live really not far away from from where I live and and are able to benefit from um, from that short distance right between between the campus and and home. Um, the cost of living, I mentioned before, much, much cheaper than, than Paris. The cost of housing, much, much cheaper. Um, you're looking at roughly budget-wise, uh, maybe 850, 900 euros a month. Um, you would you would need really to, to live as a student. Now that would include your rent. Um, and you're looking at roughly double that if you went to Paris, right? So Dijon's a, a great affordable option for you uh, as a student. Um okay. So okay, so here are some pictures of our Dijon campus. Um as I mentioned, it's uh, newly opened, and um, so it's been open for about a year now. Um we have a couple of programs taking place there. Uh the city of Dijon itself is only a few hours from Lyon, um, from Paris, from Marseille, and also located very close to Europe. So we're very much in the in the heart of Europe. So if you wanted to use your your study destination as a springboard to explore the rest of Europe, we're super close to Belgium, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, um, and BSB because of our geographical location have been able to forge really quite important connections with them um, with many companies uh, throughout Europe and um, so coming to study at, at BSB in France certainly doesn't mean that you're restricted to France quite the opposite it opens up doors um, in in Europe um, if you wanted to 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 explore from from here um, so Yeah, uh, so I'm going to talk now briefly about um, the accreditation. We are double accredited, um, double internationally accredited. So that's AACSB and Equus. Now, those accreditations are um, internationally recognized accreditations um, based on both uh, the, the quality of the, the programs and the teaching, but also um, student feedback, student satisfaction. Um, in uh, in France, we have um, a system of, of business schools that are called Grande École. They are, um, if you will, the, the creme de la creme of, of business schools. So um, they very much are, are top tier business schools that, that are able to call themselves 
école de commerce or, or grande école. And BSB is very proud to be in the top 1% of, of those business schools in the world. Um, so really, no matter which program you choose here, here at BSB, you know that, that it's going to be prestigious, it's going to be recognized worldwide, um, and, and you're, going to be, you're going to be studying on, on one of the top 1% of, of courses of business schools that exists in the world. So really a, a stamp of quality for, for your CV right there when it comes to employability, but also you're going to be learning a lot, you're going to be growing a lot, you, you will be making the most of of, of BSB's um, um, experience and um, network and um, connections and 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 reputation and um, so um, so yeah I'll leave that there for now um, again um, I have a statistic here just to to kind of show the status of of grande école of, of, of business schools here in France only 2% um, of, of international students in France study at a grande école and um, it is quite very selective and it's difficult to get into uh, especially for French students and so we're here and um, me and, and the rest of my team um, to to our, our job is to, to focus on on international and um, on facilitating applications for 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 you guys and um, and to to help and support you um, every step of the way um, uh, while you you apply and, and hopefully succeed in your application um, here here at BSP. Um, okay, so I touched upon employability. Um, like I said, we are not here just to welcome students and help you pass your exams. We have a, a, a very strong focus on employability at BSB. So we very much see this as a stepping stone for you to learn, to grow, to, to absorb knowledge um, and to take advantage of the opportunities that we can help you with. So with that in mind, uh, we have a, a, a very extensive career booster program um, that is available to you from the moment you apply to the moment you graduate and thereafter. So that consists of, of seven coaches helping in very different languages and um, they work full-time at the uh, at the school um, and uh, and 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 their job is to provide you with a certain number of hours of, of personalized coaching to sit down and, and decide uh, you know what do you want to do after you graduate um, do you do you want to continue your education and perhaps study a master's and other masters? Do you want to throw yourself into the world of employment? Which industry is best suited to you? And um, so we have uh, we put a lot of energy and resources into um, the employability, the career booster service because we we see this as the start of your career as the, the start of, of the rest of your life and, and we very much want to do everything we can to facilitate that. With that in mind, um, across all programs, we offer a number of, of workshops, of placements, of internships. Um, we very often invite guest speakers from a number of different industries to come down and, and give inspirational talks. Um, so, so yeah. Um, you know, you if you do decide to to launch yourself into into and apply for for one of our programs, by no means are you going to be one student of many and um, you know ticking the boxes and, and passing your exams this is this is that the the first day of, of the rest of your life and, and we do everything we can to um to to really help um help you make the right choice um in that respect um yeah so with that in mind of course we have a huge network of um graduates so so students who in previous years have have studied and um, the the programs that, that you're thinking about studying we uh, we put a lot of uh, time and effort into keeping in touch with them the the alumni network is super important to us and um, you as as current uh, bsb uh, grad um uh, students uh, will have immediate access to this network of alumni so that you'll be able to to speak directly with those students who who walked in in your shoes um previously in previous years and uh, and ask them questions directly uh, you know what industry did they go into how did they find the process of applying for jobs do they have any recommendations in terms of placements and internships so really what we're trying to do is is, is welcoming you aboard the, the bsp family and uh, allowing you access to our network of, of alumni and and uh, and giving you access to to all of the resources that that we have so that you can start planning the rest of your life um, essentially 
Okay, I'm going to talk um, briefly about the programs. Um, we have quite a few, so I won't be able to go into um, too much detail, um, but I'll give you a bit of an overview. And then if you have specific questions at the end, please come back and, and ask them. Um, and I will also, of course, share my my uh, my contact details um, so we can schedule a call individually if you want to um, you know, discuss in more detail one program specifically. Um, okay, so I'll start with the, the Bachelor in uh, Management. Um, so this program is, of course, a bachelor program. Um, it's an undergraduate program. It's geared towards um, students who have just graduated from high school. Um, so it would be your first degree. Um, essentially, it's a three-year program. Um, it's taught 100% in English. Uh, and uh, and the idea is really to give you um, a, um, a kind of generic understanding um, of um, business and, and management electives that can then be applied to lots of different industries, no matter what job or, or, or what your ambitions are after you graduate. So it's quite a generic course um, focusing on, 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 on business and, and management modules. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's geared towards um, so in in terms of eligibility, um, you you would need to have um, been in high school uh, anywhere in the world except from France. Um, so it's a program that's um, that's that's uh, geared towards international students. There are French students as well, but but my team uh, look after the the international student applications. So if you graduate from high school. In any country apart from France, you would be eligible. Um, so, so yeah, if you wanted to throw yourself into a into a business program, but you weren't entirely sure what um what industry or what sector you you wanted to go for, um, this would be a good baseline undergraduate um and bachelor program for you to get a a kind of global understanding of 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 business, uh, and then uh, and then during those three years, of course, you would be able to specialize, and um, so in your third year on that bachelor program, you would you would choose one of the these six specializations now as you can see they're very wide ranging um, being in Burgundy, the, the home of wine, of course, we have a, um, a, a very reputable um, wine and spirits business faculty. So one of the specializations is wine tourism. But of course, you can go for anything else from, from luxury marketing to international business management. Um, so your third year on that bachelor program is, uh, is where you would specialize. And the idea is that you would uh, then have more of an idea, um, you know, which direction you, you wanted to head into in terms of, of career and, and job and, and the future excuse me um so as i mentioned all of our courses are 100 uh, percent taught in english so although the 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 business school is located here in france and um, you by no means need to speak french at all and um, we won't be testing your french and um, uh, during the application process we would just need to make sure that you have uh, the adequate level of english so we would ask for um, an ielts uh, score of of six and um, or equivalent we we use duolingo or um, all of the other uh, English assessment um, exams. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, although the, the the school is here in France, and um, the unit, the, the the business school itself is very much international. Um, so, twenty five percent of students here at BSB are international. So that's one in four. Um, so really, you'll find that the campus is 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 basically like a mini universe. You know, um, you'll be you'll be integrating here in France, and you'll be living a, a French existence to a point, um, which is very enjoyable, I might add. Um, but you will also be living a very international experience and meeting people from all over the world and your course um, itself will, will not take place in, in French. Um, yeah, in terms of study abroad, I just wanted to add uh, on all of our programs, there's the option to study abroad for a semester. If you wanted a taster of, um, you know, uh, studying in a different country, 
or for a whole year, um, depending on, on which program you go for. Um, now, if you go for a whole year as part of the Bachelor in Management, for example, you will receive a double degree. So you will receive a degree from the Grand École Business School here in France. You will also receive a diploma from the institution that you choose for your year abroad. Um, now, in terms of partner institutions, we have over 250 universities, business schools around the world. Uh, you know, from Belgium to, to Thailand. Um, so again, another way for, for you to just add that um, that extra flavor to, to the program that you're studying. Um, and in terms of, you know, your CV and, and employability, coming out of, of, of a three-year bachelor program with two diplomas from, from two reputable um, business schools or institutions is, is definitely a bonus. Um, so you have the option to, to study abroad for that semester, for that year, and that's at no extra cost it's included in the um in the, the tuition fees that, that are advertised um okay so let's move on now to the master in management now this is the um the the most reputable and the the, the most um the most popular um, master program. It's very, very well uh, respected here in France. It's a two-year master in management, Grande École. Um, again, very, very well respected. Now, compared to the bachelor program that I was just talking about, this is much more specialized. So in terms of eligibility, you would need to have already done a bachelor program, an undergraduate program in a country that's not France. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, the idea would be to to go into much more detail um, in terms of in, in terms of um, business and, and and management modules across a number of different uh, industries, and um, and and really just to just to take your education to that next level, right? Um, so to so so while the bachelor program gives you a bit of a, a generic overview um, into in, into um, sort of international business studies across all sectors let's say the master in management is much more specialized and um, so you'll be you'll be going far far deeper into into um, into subjects than, than with the bachelor so with the master and the bachelor again um, we are um, um, medium-sized kind of a boutique um, campus, boutique um, business school. Uh, and so we're able to really focus on individual attention. So we never have more than 35 to 40 students in a class maximum. We really value, um, as I mentioned, uh, we, we, we see this as, um, as uh, a springboard to, the, to your future. So we really want, um, want the, the teachers, the staff, and um, every experience that you have at, at BSB, we want you to, to feel that individual attention. We want you to be able to speak up, to ask questions, to, to question the tutors. Um, we don't want you to feel lost. Um, as you might be if you were uh, if you were working uh, sorry if you were studying in a in in, in a more large scale school um, or in a more large scale city um, the master in management of course uh, offers up to 14 months of internships after again this is um, through our network of highly respected companies across a number of different sectors so um, so remember it's not just academia here we we very much have a focus on employability on jobs on career and uh, we want to push you to to apply everything that you've learned in theory and and put it to practice um, and start thinking about the kind of jobs you want to do the kind of placements you you want to apply for and um, so there's a, a big push at bsb for you know and um, where do you see yourself in five years time and how can we help you get there um Again, with the Master in Management, you have the option to study abroad for a semester or for a year, um, in which case you would uh, benefit from a, a dual degree, as I mentioned. Um, again, in the, with the Masters, in your second year, you would specialise. So the first year is more, um, more of a global vision, right? Um, and then the, the second year, you, you, you have a bit more of an idea of what direction you want to head into, and you choose a, a specialised um, a, a branch for, for year two. Uh, okay, so apart from the bachelors and the master in management, we also offer nine MSc programs. Uh, so these are masters, of course, as well, masters of science this time. Now, these are all one-year programs. Um, they're very wide ranging, again, from sustainable wine tourism and gastronomy to luxury management and innovation. So 
these um, these nine MSc programs are um, geared towards students who already have a bachelor degree. So you already have a, a, an undergraduate degree and you decide that you want to specialize. You want to do it a little bit quicker, uh, say in one year. Um, and uh, and you have, um, I suppose you you maybe have a rough idea of, of, um, of what kind of sector you want to launch yourself into after you do this specialization. And um, so they're short, intensive courses um, that, that allow you to, um, to take the, the generic undergraduate program that you studied and, and, uh, and, and specialize it, right? With a view to then launching into the job market with an undergrad and a, a, a master of science. Um, I'm going to leave that there for now. Hopefully that gives you an overview of the programs. We can come back at the end if you have any questions. And like I mentioned, um, if you're interested in one program specifically and you want to discuss your profile eligibility, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I, I will contact everyone um, in the next few days anyway, everyone everyone who registered. Uh, and, uh, and if you want to have a, a, a private meeting or a phone call, um, we can definitely arrange that. All right. So I mentioned the double degree. If you're um, if you're uh, doing a degree with us and then uh, taking a, a year abroad uh, with the uh, sorry, I'll go back for a second with the master in management. OK, the two year master's program uh, when you specialize in your second year. Um, and you go for one of um, one of these specializations down the bottom. Uh, you can also choose one of the MSc programs as your specialization. Okay, if you do that, you will not only graduate with the Master in Management Grande École, but you will also graduate with a separate diploma for the Master of Science specialization. So we're really doing everything that we can to equip you with the diplomas, the experience, the specializations that you need to wow employers, and um, so that after you graduate you have all the tools that you need to throw yourself into the workplace and and uh, and, and and get employed basically um okay so i'll talk briefly about the um wine and spirits business faculty of course being based here in dijon in Burgundy, um, very, very famous wine region throughout the world. Um, we have some of the, the most prestigious, the, the finest wines really on the planet. Um, so there is no better place than um, if you're interested in, in that industry, in launching yourself into um, you know, the wine and spirits business, there is no better place to come and get trained. Um, but here, uh, that's why we're, we're ranked number one. And um, for all of the, the, the wine and spirits business programs, um, we're in the perfect location. We have amazing connections uh, through throughout uh, these these industries. So no matter you know what level you you want to go into, if your interest is in wine and or um, spirits and business, um, we can definitely help you succeed. Um, here we have some 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 photos. These are some of the students that are studying at the the wine and um, and spirits business. So. Um, again, a huge emphasis on on the practical aspect. Of course, um, you have to look into the theory and um, academia is important, but we do really our best to, to bring all students across all courses out uh, to meet with professionals, to, to in the case of, of the wine and spirits business, to do tasting, to meet exporters, to um, we take you to, to events abroad throughout Europe um, so that you can network and, and build up your, your professional network um, while you're studying with us. Uh, in terms of the, the the wine and spirits business faculty, we offer five different programs. Um, so, from uh, from the bachelor program that we discussed before, uh, you have a wine tourism specialization that you can choose in in year three. Um, then we have a, a couple of um, Master of Science one year programs that focus on on wine management, uh, and then of course we have an MBA. Uh, now the MBA is 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 very prestigious, very intensive. Um, for the MBA, you would need to, um, I mean, have a very strong interest in wine and or spirits, but also have um, at least three years work experience under your belt. So, so that one's geared towards people who are already working in the in the industry and uh, and and they really just want to want to specialize their their skills and and the theory there. Um, so yeah, so a few options there if you're interested in wine. Um, again, here are, here are some of our, our students working and uh, studying in the, the Wine and Spirits uh, faculty, enjoying some networking events, enjoying the vineyards that, that, that surround Dijon. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, quite apart from from the from the the programs that we offer, it's just a very enjoyable place to live, right? You have all of this on your doorstep. So, um, you have the cities that I mentioned before, but um, but you also have amazing green spaces, like acres and acres of of vineyards, of of greenery. Um, so so really, in terms of quality of life, it, it's something that that students are are blown away with when when they come to to BSB. Uh, okay, so in terms of the campus, I mentioned we're a grande école and um, we're one of the oldest business schools in the world. So we carry with it that prestige, the experience and the, the, the richness. Um, but the campus itself is super modern. Um, so it's been um, newly renovated and we have lots of different spaces. Uh, you know, the, the, the learning center is a library on, on three floors that's, that's fully resourced with um, all of the, the books that you would need. So there's no need to spend loads of money before you arrive for your course. We have everything you need if you want to borrow it from the library. Um, we have a trading room for those studying corporate finance. That's an exact replica of the, the Wall Street trading room. We have a dance studio. Um, a student lounge, a music studio. We even have a Zen room if you want to go meditate in between classes. So, um, so the campus itself is is purpose built and uh, to to serve the needs of 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 students across across all courses. Really, um, this is yeah, just some photos of 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 Dijon of the campus to show the modernity, the facilities that I was talking about. Um, of course, Lyon um, even more so because um, it covers, uh, as I mentioned, you know, um, modern programs, anything tech based. Um, we have an artificial intelligence program that's um, based out of Lyon. Um, so yeah, so I'll leave that there for now. In terms of the application process, it's very very simple. Um, the application process is online. Um, it's broken down into four simple steps. So you would simply go to our website, you click on apply, you fill in your details, and um, you'll then be asked to um, upload supporting documents. So it would be um, a PS identity, so uh, your passport. And um, we would ask for your academic transcript. So depending on which program you're applying to, um, either your high school um, you know, results uh, or the results from your undergraduate program. And um, if you, you're applying for a masters and um, we would ask you for a letter of motivation just where it should be very personal where you tell us why you want to apply for the course why you think you would be a good candidate and um, and then our admissions team would, would look over your um your 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 documents and, and your application and and would make a decision from there um, what I will say is that um, me, my job is to help you guys with your application. So use me. Um, I work on the international development team. There are um, there are eight of us in the team. Uh, we speak a variety of different languages, and our job is to facilitate international student applications. So you can call me, you can WhatsApp me, you can email me if you have any questions about the process. Um, at the end of the application process, you will have an interview. So um, you can call me first and uh, I can talk you through the process, give you some tips on the, on the interview. Um, I really am here to, to, to help you guys succeed in your in your application with us. Um, so anyway, it's very simple, it's online. I'm, myself and my team are here to help. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of scholarships, we offer a number of uh, scholarships throughout the year. Now, usually it's from November to uh, April. So we've just come to the end of our scholarship period. Now we still have a few. If you're thinking of applying for this year, um, then, you know, get in touch with me. Let me know that you're that you'd like to 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 be considered for the scholarship. Um, but usually, uh, yeah, from December to April. Um, every month there's a scholarship committee uh, and we look over all of the, the complete applications um, and, and, and a number of scholarships are awarded. So um, it's either 25% reduction in fees or a 50% reduction in fees. So it's quite significant and it's well worth applying for. Um, it's not just the best students in the class that we're looking for. We, we very much value you, your ambitions, your experience. So 
if you play an instrument, if you've had an interesting life, um, you know, if you, no, no matter what, uh, what your, um, no matter what makes you unique or special, I would very much encourage you to apply for the scholarship. Anyway, talk to me about it. Tell me why, um, you know, you think you deserve it, and we'll put your name forward. And um, all you have to do is complete the application, and then we'll put your name forward for the scholarship and, and keep our fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, here are some of the rest of the team. Um, you're more than welcome to, to schedule a call with, with any one of us. Um, if you prefer the look of somebody else, uh, you can you can schedule a call with them. You know, we're, we all have the same objective. We, we all work on the same team. Um, and uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now, I think. I'm, I'm very aware that we have a time limit. Um, but uh, but yeah, thank you very much for, for listening. I hope you found it um, informative. I hope it gave you a bit of an overview of, of Burgundy School of Business, of the, the programs that, that we offer, of the kind of life that you can have as a student here in France. Um, and I am at your service, at your disposal, um, if you would like to follow up and, uh, and, and have a, a, a more um, personal discussion um, based on, on your profile and, and your ambitions. Um, so yeah, thank you again for 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 being here, um, and uh, and I, I hope to be in touch soon. Awesome! Thank you so much, Patrick. Um, we have lots of questions. Okay. So I I, I will get thank through you. them like right away. Yep. Um. So Chrisia, she would like to know how old um uh, is the minimum like the age minimum for the bachelor's program? Um, so I don't believe we have a minimum age, to be perfectly honest. You would need to have graduated from high school. Um, so you would need to have a, a high school diploma that shows, you know, the subjects that you that you studied in your senior year. Um, so in general, I mean, it wouldn't be younger than 17, 18, I would say. Um, however, I don't... I um, believe there's a um, there's a, a minimum, um, but I I don't think that we would take it. We would consider any applications from anyone that was younger than seventeen, eighteen, because because generally they wouldn't have completed their high school by then. Um, but certainly, um, if it's for yourself, um, then uh, please get in touch with me and uh, let me know how old you are and let me know what stage you're at in terms of uh, you know high school and, and graduation and uh, and we can look into to options and and just double check that you are eligible before you apply of course awesome thank you so so much here um carolina she's asking if you will recommend the bsb for entrepreneurs 100 yeah for sure um we're a very modern campus uh, a lot of our programs are are very tech based and are based on you know um, sustainable um, industries uh, the the future we um we we work very hard to um, bring in uh, sort of uh, cutting edge technologies cutting edge re research and um, and, uh, and and professors who are who really are at the top of their game and are, and are coming up with with pioneering um, projects and programs um, the the Lyon campus that I mentioned is uh, super ahead of the game uh, in terms of um you know ai tech-based startups entrepreneurs and um, so a hundred percent you know the the students that are studying with us are um really are are the future and um, in terms of the ideas that they bring and um, and and in terms of their ambitions and um, so it's it's a very modern campus with a very progressive attitude so i would say a hundred percent yeah awesome thank you so so much um here valeria is asking if the students need to course any extra year um, since they are international students or they go straight forward with the undergrad program after high school? If they, oh, right, um, if they have to study for an extra year in between. Uh, no, no, no. So you're able to go directly from high school. Um, I believe, um, I believe in, yeah, I mean, it, I believe in most countries in Latin America, um, you study for 11 years. Is that right? Carla, maybe you can confirm that. Yes. Well, here in Mexico, at least, is six years like elementary school, then three years secondary school, 
and two or three years high school. So yeah, yeah. 11, 12. So essentially, like um, a lot of uh, countries in Europe uh, don't accept students who have not studied for a minimum of 12 years. So sometimes it blocks international students with some countries. And um, in France, we are an at BSB and um, specifically we're um, we're able to welcome students after they've done 11 years and uh, no problem. So you can come directly from high school and there's no need for you to take a year out in between. We we will um, consider your and support your application and um, and you can even start applying or, or start liaising with me um, while you're still uh, in your final year at high school. So definitely no need for you to, um, you know, throw in an extra year. Um, we're, we're very happy and delighted, in fact, to, to take student applications directly from, from high school. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Here, um, they are asking about the process again and if for the scholarships, is there a different process or is like inside the same process? Yeah, so essentially there's no separate application process. Um, we uh, providing you complete the um, online um, four-step application process that I mentioned before, and um, then you would automatically be eligible for the scholarship. Now, I would recommend that you, you know, while you're applying, while you're going through those four steps, um, that you communicate with me and that you're interested in a scholarship, communicate with me the, the reasons and why. Uh, and um, it's not me that makes the decision. It's not my team. There's a separate scholarship committee, but um, I will be the one that puts your name forward. I can support your application. Um, and so there is no separate application process. You just need to communicate with us that you want to be put forward for it and make sure you complete the, the four step application process. So you need to upload all your documents. You need to send your letter of motivation and, and, and you need to get through those four steps. And um, but providing you do that by the scholarship deadline, then then we'll put you forward for it. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Um, here, lots of the students are asking about the English proficiency tests. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so essentially, I mean, we accept um, all uh, all exam board assessment boards. Um, so, but it doesn't have to be IELTS. So you would need a score of 6.0. Um, yeah, 6.0, I believe. Uh, and uh, however, we've recently started accepting Duolingo as well. You might know the, the language learning app. They offer an English language assessment that's super easy, much cheaper than IELTS. Um, so, uh, so yeah, lo lots of options there. Um, we essentially it's not a trap at all we just want to make sure that you have an adequate level of english so that you can follow the program so that you can learn so that you will you know enjoy it and um, and uh, and it's not a super high score to achieve and um, and uh, so so yeah so you would need to um to give us that as part of your application as an international student um but there are lots of different options and um, you know depending on on where you are and, and your resources um and even if you if you don't quite make it the first time you can um if you apply early enough you can leave it a couple of months maybe do a bit of um study practice and maybe do a language course uh, and then apply again and and, and do the english language the english assessment again and um, so so yeah i mean we're um we're very much um trying to, to support you through that and um, we're not trying to to block you and um, it's just a box that we need to tick to make sure that that you know you you, you have the adequate level for for the program perfect thank you so much patrick um now here they're also asking about the dual degree yeah Can you explain them a little bit more about it please yeah, so I'm um, sorry if it was a little bit garbled. It's um, slightly complicated to, to explain in, in a short amount of time. Um, but essentially, you... Um, okay, so if you... No matter which program you're studying, if you decide to do one year abroad, right, say with the bachelor's or with the master in management, if you decide that you want to take one of those years abroad in with one of our partner institutions... Um, we we have partner we have partnerships with um with schools around the world and um, then 
at no extra cost to yourself. So included in the tuition fees, uh, you would um, you would study for one year at the, the partner school abroad. And um, at the end of your degree, you would receive not only a diploma from BSB with the degree that, that you chose and that you're studying, but also a diploma from the partner institution, right? So you would leave with two degrees and um, from two very reputable schools. Um, even though you had just essentially studied one and, and did a year abroad, right? And the other option for the dual degree is with the master in management program. So that's the two year master's program. And um, now with that option, you 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 study the first year at, um, at BSB. Um, and then the second year, you choose one of our nine MSc programs, the nine masters in sciences, one year programs, as your second year of the master's, right? And in that case, you, you would graduate again with a double degree. So the master in management from here, from the Grand Ecole here in France, and the MSc master's specialization. So two separate diplomas um, in, in both cases. And the idea behind it is that, of course, um, you know, uh, the, the more diplomas you have under your belt, then, um, I mean, depending on the industry you go into, of course, but um, it looks very good, right, for in terms of career, in terms of interviews and, and employability. And, um, and also you've deserved it, you know, um, it, it's a specialization and um, it, it is separate and, and we want to reward you and, and equip you with, with all the tools uh, that you need to then succeed um, in, in the outside world in, in terms of work. Awesome. Yeah, that is that is that is amazing. That is a very, very good opportunity. Um, here they are asking also if there are any internships inside of the programs or co-op programs or anything like that so they can like put the knowledge into practice. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um I mean again, depending on the program that you study, um placements internships are very much encouraged and um, like i mentioned in the presentation we um we we work very hard to um uh, put together uh network opportunities networking opportunities um with uh, companies across france but also across europe and and globally um depending on the program that you study your your internship will be either compulsory or not so it depends on what you go for and more often than not it's up to the student we don't want to force you to do anything that you don't want to do but it's very much encouraged and um, so yeah lots and lots of opportunities there and um, both from inside bsb so we can provide you with a, a list of employers that that are offering placements, internships, um, related to, to the degree that you're studying. A lot of students also decide that they've learned a lot, they've networked themselves during their time here, and they want to go out and, and, and build those bridges themselves, you know? Um, so either way, we're more than happy to support you, empower you. Um, but yes, placements, um, internships, employability is a massive uh, factor here uh, at BSB, and um, it's something that we, we very much encourage and uh, encourage students to, to, to do. Awesome. Thank you so, so much for that. Um, here, another question is that if the students are allowed to work while they are studying at BSB. Yeah, yeah, of course. And that's also very much encouraged. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, lots of many BSB students will um, take up part-time employment and you know to assist with uh, with funding their studies and, and and living costs and there are lots of opportunities in France to to do that you know from working as a waiter or a waitress in, in a bar or, or a restaurant to uh, you know, a cafe, a boulangerie, there are even opportunities inside the university. And um, we have a, a couple of students that come in and, and intern in our office, in the International Development Office. So, um, so you know, uh, yeah, lots and lots of opportunities to do that. It's very much encouraged. You have uh, you have some free time around the program, and um, of course for for self study for you to explore you know the city the the region and um, and also for you to take part in in part time work and um, if and when you decide to do that so so yeah for sure. Awesome, thank you so so much. Here, Valeria is asking that if she's applying for next year, twenty twenty three, yeah, the process is still the same. And would the deadline only change from July 2022 to 23? 
or should she wait until next year to check if the process has changed? No, so the process will be exactly the same. Um, it will be uh, an online um, application process, as um, as I mentioned. Um, my team will be um, will be here to support and facilitate um, this year, much like next year. Um, the deadline is July the fifteenth for applications. So for this year, um, you would need to, for, for September intake for this year, you would need to finish your application by July the 15th at the latest. For next year, it's going to be July the 15th again. So um, everything that's been discussed in terms of um, deadlines, the application process will be applicable next year. And um, it's, uh, she just can't apply now. Um, so if she wanted to apply for 2023, you would need to wait till probably November this year. Um, however, if she wants to get in touch, more than happy to um, answer any questions that she has about the program, look at her profile, discuss eligibility in anticipation of her, her applying when, when that option becomes available later this year. Perfect. Thank you very, very much. Here, Emmanuel is asking about the MSc Data Science. Um, he's very interested in that one and he was looking at the fees on the website and yeah. he would like to know if the fees are for the whole program or should he consider any additional costs? Um, no, so the fees are all inclusive um, the tuition fees cover um, everything uh, in terms of um, learning once you're here. The only thing that um, that they wouldn't include, um, so of course they wouldn't include a, a year flight to arrive in France, and um, they wouldn't cover accommodation costs uh, and living expenses while you're studying. So it's very much the tuition and the program, the degree that you're paying for, but any um, any trips, any networking events, um, any placement, um, internship opportunities, um, any career service meetings, that's all included in in the in the cost. And um, the only extra cost that you would have to think about, Manuel, is. Um, is living expenses, so finding a house, of course, but we would help you with that. We have a dedicated um, housing service as well called Studapart that um, that work very hard to, to find students the accommodation that they want, but you would pay extra for that. And of course, you would need to pay extra for your living expenses, right? So groceries um, and anything that, that you wanted to do in, in your in your spare time. Um, apart from that, everything is covered. So all the services that I mentioned um, are, are, are included in that fee. Awesome. And do you have an estimate cost of living? Yeah, so you're looking at, um, in Dijon, you're looking at roughly 850 to 900 euros on a student budget. So that would be inclusive of your rent, right? Um, rent is much cheaper than, than other cities like, like Paris or Lyon. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so very affordable. Um, but you're looking at roughly around 850 to 900 euros then. If you go for one of the programs in Lyon, maybe a little bit higher, um, but certainly nothing compared to, to what students are paying in, in Paris or, or London or, um, or other European capitals. Perfect. Thank you so much. And just as an extra tip, um, there is a, I, I'm not quite sure, maybe Patrick knows, um, there is some work that you can apply and the Fra government of France will help you yeah with a percentage of your rent yeah exactly so it's called la caf uh, so basically it's um it's um it's a government initiative whereby um they agree to subsidize a certain percentage of all students um rental costs um, and that's extended to international students and um, you know France is very progressively minded in, in that respect when it comes to um, a global perspective and, and education in general and um, so you're uh, so so yeah so the government steps in and pays um, around I think 30 to 40 percent of your um, rental costs and um, so it's something that you apply for once you're here and um, it's quite a simple sort of online form you fill it out uh, and then they will retrospectively reimburse you um, for that percentage of your of, of your your rent so you're looking at roughly um you know probably 200 euros um uh, per month is subsidized by the government and will be reimbursed to you um, for, for your accommodation. So that's that's an added an added benefit. Indeed, um, France, France very much looks after 
um, its people and and uh, you know in in terms of um, in terms of studying and um, employment but also health uh, you know you're um, you're you're in good hands uh, the the government certainly doesn't turn its back on on anyone um, and and especially not not students like like yourselves who who are making the effort to to travel and and indeed enriching um in enriching us with with your culture your language and and your presence Awesome. Thank you so much, Patrick. And yes, that is something that is very unique uh, about France. So guys, you have to take advantage of these opportunities for sure. Um, lots of the, the students are super um, engaged. Although we're we're getting into like the last part of of the of the live session. So here they are asking for the link where they can apply. Oh sure, um, I'll post it. Um, I mean, okay. I'll follow up with um, I'll follow up with my contact details um, and information um, on you know how to how to contact me and information about the programs, more details. But for now, I'll post the application link in the chat. Do you know what? I'm going to post the general um, website. And then if you look on the right-hand side of the website, there's a big button that says apply. Uh, so you can click on that and you can start the application process. Um, but from the website itself, you can um, you can go through and have a good look at all of the, the programs and um, the admissions sort of requirements and... Uh, and um, and yeah, get lots of other useful information before you apply. So that's the website there. Just go straight there and you've got loads of um, info. I'll also, um, I tell you what, I'll put my, I'll put my telephone number here. Um, so anyone can contact me on uh, WhatsApp if you want, if you have any sort of burning questions, right? Um, and then I'll also put my email address. Um, but in any case, uh, I'm going to follow up with uh, all of this information by email to everyone that was here today and um yeah thank you again for um for being here i really appreciate it. it was so wonderful to be able to connect with you guys carla thank you so much for the opportunity um it's it's really a pleasure for me to be able to to reach out and, and welcome you guys um, and i would be delighted to continue the the conversation with you Thank you so much, Patrick, for being here and for sharing with us all these amazing opportunities. Sure. Guys, please take advantage of this. This is an amazing institution and you won't regret it. So thank you everyone so much for being here today. Uh, thank you for sharing with us a little bit of your afternoons to hear all, all these amazing um, opportunities. And okay, so you have all the information there. We recorded this session and we will upload it tomorrow to YouTube in case you want to watch it again. And Patrick will follow up with you and you have um, his contact information in case you still have questions, doubts, or you need guidance on the application process. He will be super happy to help you. I'm super sure about it. Yeah. So thank you, everyone, again. Have an amazing evening and have an amazing night, <laughs> Patrick. Yeah. And I'll see you next time. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Ciao. -bye.